hello it's your girl Bianca coming back to you for another video um I thought that this would be a really good topic to talk about considering that this is social media and that on this channel we talk about behaviors we talk about health behaviors and my background is health and science along with like education and teaching and encouraging and uplifting and increasing awareness all of those different things so the topic that I want to discuss is social marketing I thought that that was key considering we have a lot of social entrepreneurs out there and then also um, with that being said there's different types of social entrepreneurs um, I would technically consider myself to be more of a health social entrepreneur and trying to promote um, or influence people to um, think more about their health and how those behaviors affect uh, the environment or the world that we live in um, socially um, whether those behaviors are appropriate or inappropriate so and then also in reading health behavior and health education their research and practice props out to these authors just gonna talk a little bit about the def definition of social marketing its principles how it can be applied within a strategic health communication framework um, all of those different things of course I got my throwback space jam shirt on because we thinking about stuff that's outside of this world not just staying in the box here outside thinking of course okay all right so pretty much social marketing um i guess it was attributed to kotler and zaltman and this was like in the 1970s however but they defined it as a social influence technology involving the design implementation and control of programs aimed at increasing the acceptability of a social idea or practice in one or more groups of target adopters okay so since then it has evolved through widespread application and of course extensive scholarship research journals websites textbooks institutes university Courses and funding from the nonprofit sector and from foreign assistance donor donors continue to drive this evolution. And the, and so um, I guess a more recent definition that has been used is Andreasen's definition, um, which continues to be one of the clearest and more concise summaries of social marketing's um, essential features, such as it says social marketing is the application of commercial marketing technologies to the analysis, planning, execution, and evaluation of programs designed to influence the voluntary behavior of target, audi of target audiences in order to improve their personal welfare and that of their society. These three highlighted aspects, the use of a marketing perspective to influence behavior for individual and social good, lie at the heart of all social marketing efforts. The focus on outcomes that improve personal and, so and social welfare is the primary distinction between social and commercial marketing. And of course, anytime you market anything, it's going to be expensive, um, especially if you want to go like on a wide scale market. Okay. But I'm just going to give you some comparisons now uh, between social marketing, com commercial, excuse me for not being able to pronounce these words, um, you know, appropriately my, my brain is moving fast and then I'm trying to talk this out at the same time and not make this video last forever okay so I'm going to give you some comparisons between social marketing commercial marketing and health education so primary locus of benefit looking at social marketing individuals social and political leaders professionals society at large the primary locus of benefit for commercial marketing marketing organization producer of marketing of marketed goods and then primary locus of benefit for health education, individuals. So ultimately, we're looking at individuals here. Um, types of outcomes for social marketing, behaviors that increase personal and social welfare, knowledge, attitudes, norms, values, and consumer self-image addressed to the extent that they inform behavioral decisions. 
gratifications more likely to be delayed, but the benefits overall in the long term are good. Okay, types of outcomes for commercial marketing. Purchasing behaviors, that's what most, most commercial marketing is looking at. How much are consumers going to purchase? How much money are they going to spend? Attitudes toward the image of product. Consumer self-image. Norms and values addressed to the extent that they affect purchases. Gratifications may, may be more immediate. Benefits tend to be more short-term. So that's what they're trying to do. Persuade you to buy these things, which um, the benefits are short-term short versus long-term. Okay, And then types of outcomes for health education. Knowledge, attitudes, skills, and practice of skills. 